you guys, Brian Paul sitting here in VR as always, and you're probably wondering, what the heck am I doing playing special delivery? Like, E3's going on, and there's so many breaking news stories that I, I shouldn't be playing, I shouldn't be playing this game, especially since I didn't review it very well. Well, one thing, uh, it is kind of breaking news, that there's a, an update for this game, version 1.03. And it doesn't look different off the bat, but hiding right here under the sound options, right there, control options. And this turn rate, you can move all the way up and fixes my major complaint with the original game. So let's start off right away and we'll see if we can uh, show off some of the updates that a special delivery 1.03 has brought. Um, uh, so the turning radius is crazy. It, it seemed so awkward playing the original version. Uh, you're like leaning so far. Uh, you know, it's one of those things where you know you don't have to lean very far to make it happen, but you lean further, like you push the joystick harder, you know what I mean? Because you think it's going to affect it more. I was like leaning all the way over on my couch and nothing was happening because, well, you only need to lean like this far. Um, so let's recalibrate real quick as we go. There we go. And uh, watch this. Ready? You can literally do a circle in the middle of the street. That's how tight the turning radius can be. It's crazy. It actually like just makes the whole game better. Right, let's see how we do here, because I'm not terribly good at this game. There we go. This is a game I, I really, really wanted to like. Oh, where the... Oops, I'm just throwing papers randomly. Yeah, this is a game I really wanted to like. Uh, I didn't actually like the original Paperboy, but I was like, how cool would this be in VR? And, and look at this. The newspapers that you pick up glow blue now. Like, my Another big complaint I had was that I couldn't see them. They're randomly placed. It's not like a memorization thing where you can just remember where they are and you're good to go. So like 90% of the time, I'd be riding down the street needing needing to find the papers and not seeing them until until they were like over there. Which it totally sucked, especially when the turning radius was so poor. Um, now it's like, I can, oh, this paper's over here. I'm going to go get them. Uh, but yeah, but now they glow blue, so you have no excuse not to try to get them. This just makes the whole game feel like it's moving faster. Like, it re you really do feel like you have a lot of control now. <sighs> Unbelievable that it didn't control like this out of the gate. Now, just in case we don't experience it, one thing I did notice is that they fixed a glitch that sometimes when you crash, you, uh, you respawn in front of another obstacle, and then you have to, like, basically you immediately crash again, which, you know, sucks. You lose two lives instead of one. Um, and they fixed that to a degree, but I think when they fixed that glitch, they created another glitch, um, which sometimes, I don't know if we'll see it during this playthrough, but sometimes you respawn, it's like stuck in an object where you can't move. You don't crash, you're just stuck, and you can't force yourself to crash or do anything. So you just have to reset the game, which is even worse, I think. Um, so, the game's not perfect yet, but, uh, obviously the developers care about, you know, about our complaints. Now, does, does do, turning the turning radius up make the game too easy? I, I don't know. I think it makes it fair now. I think that's the, the right answer. I don't mind difficult games, but I uh, but I prefer the difficulty to come from the challenge of the game, not not the control scheme. Look at this. You can't you can never maneuver these tight little corners before. This is the game I thought we were gonna get. Whoa! I didn't even see that. Was it a tire? Tires do tend to come out from behind. Whoa! 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 Ah! Well, <laughs> I think that was unavoidable, but that's still not ba as bad as the uh, the glitch I was telling you about. Um, so what else? 
I mean, it's still, don't get me wrong, special delivery is still a $10 game. And it is, you know, it feels like a $10 game. But now it feels like a $10 game that I can recommend. You know, like, a, it's fun. Oh, another tire. Ah, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> At the last second, I tried to hit the brake, and then I tried to steer, and then I just ran into it. I, I, uh, that was horrible. I'm, I'm really bad at this game. Here, we'll do one more run, because uh, I feel like I need to... I really need to drive the point home, like, how much different this game is than when it, it was when I reviewed it. And I'm sorry, it's not going to get a re-review. I don't have time for re-reviews. Uh, I would love to, trust me. But re-reviews are... They, reviews themselves take all day. You know, it's like capturing footage, and then writing the script, and then recording the voiceover, and then editing the video together. It's an all-day thing. Uh, which, trust me, I'd love to do reviews like every day, but they just don't have the time for that. Um, maybe one day when I do this uh, a little more full-time. Let's get out of the way. Yeah, like I said, it, it's a $10 game. But now it feels like it's, you know, like it, it plays right. It feels right. It feels good. Um, this is this is what you're doing. You're riding a bike, and you're avoiding obstacles, and you're delivering papers. If this is how it was when it first came out, I, I definitely would have given it a, a great review. Just as a simple little uh, paper boy VR imitation, it's it's fantastic. Oh, there's there's that tire. Jeez, it's come out of nowhere. Oh, there's the papers. Saw them flashing blue out of the corner of my eye. All right. Hey, you know what? Let's, let's whoa! <laughs> Damn tires! They get me every time. They're, they're the most difficult obstacle. Here, let's, you know what, let's do a turn around. Can we just check out what what the street's like going the other way? You can just go the other way. I don't even know if you could do a 180 before. So, the game is definitely uh, markedly easier this way, um, but I think it's something they ha really had to do to... Uh, to make this game fun. What is wrong with that car? He almost crashed into that Jersey barrier. Nuts. Okay, I don't come back. Interesting. Whoa! Wait, the game... This town is real dead when, uh... When you go back the other way. All the obstacles are just gone. But at least you can hit all the houses. There's a time down there. So my, my score is probably going to reflect how long it took me to deliver all these papers. Uh, that's what I get for riding on the wrong side of the road. Alright, you guys. Well, this is about as simple as things get. Uh, the game's better. The game's worth picking up now. For $10, if this looks good to you, then I'm going to guarantee you, you'll enjoy it. Alright. I would love to spend all day playing this game because, again, it's way more fun now. But I absolutely got to get back and uh, gotta keep my eye on E3 news. I, I know there's a lot of stuff coming up. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I love you all.